looks like Colonus is doing nothing and I just yeah I just had to set her up to do everything so that she would just do anything anything at all I don't care what she did as long as she did something since you're able to do a lot of plant cutting stuff I'm gonna say pretty much don't bother with the cleaning stuff I have so much plants to tend to here what's going on whoops aren't you in a caravan you are so I take it that they're not oh they look like they were ready to go oh you can't now everybody's got to find them and put them back. Although, he's only having a short tantrum, so it's just going to be the time taken to collect all the animals back, hopefully. But I'd say they were ready to go, which is really frustrating. They're also running away to eat food, by the way, if you're wondering where they're going. There must be something outside, like a harvested food or something, and they're just going to run towards it. Either that, or they have a bed. That's another thing they might be doing. Like, where are you going? Forming caravan resting. Alright, and um, these beds aren't for you guys. Just so you know, I don't want the blueprint. I click on the bed. I click on any bed safely without pulling up carpet. Probably not. Mitz is on a salting spree. Hey, you guys look like you're rushing over here, but I'll tell you what, those beds aren't for you. If I catch it in one of those, I'm, I'm like this close to just doing a slaughter. Because like, they're rushing. I don't know. Let me just get rid of this square of carpet. Let me just say... Mm, medical. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Fucking scungy cunts. Fuck off. Go sleep. That's not your bed. Fucking all of them. All of them were rushing for those beds. They were all going to get up in there and get everything all fucking filthy with hauling out them all fucking filth. Yeah, go sleep somewhere or eat something. I saw all of you guilty. Every one of you is fucking assholes. You go to sleep. There we go. Non-medical beds now. Scungy buffalo things. What are they? Mufflows. Yeah. Can't fucking, can't fucking trust them. If I wasn't paying attention, I'd find all these like mufflows sleeping up in there. And then when I bring up cats and shit, there'd be no proper fucking beds for all the animals. That's what would have happened. I know what my fucking animals are like. Not daft. I know what they're gonna do. Now I've got a lot of wood here. I wish I had a lot of wood on the other fucking map, but we are building shit. I also have a lot that needs to be harvested. Now, people are coming out and they are working on shit, but I mean they're getting there. I just kind of want them to do it a little bit faster. Um, it is also summer, so it's not like I can tell them to stop planting things, but I really need pretty much this entire harvest to come out to stockpile this place with food. Like every year we go through this, but I have so many animals generally on this map that I normally can't keep up with that. But this time I don't have that many. I have got horses, I have got mufflers and stuff. So what I should be doing is while it's summer, I'm on the right one. Yeah, you. Can I send a caravan up here? And I don't need anybody special realistically but let's see maybe Oban Acosta I think I had Acosta there somebody she must be nearby go oh, wicked Chet that's augury I don't know where I got Acosta from I just read that out of the nowhere let's send dragon up I'm pretty sure I was just talking about you okay, that's just a handful of people let's grab basically last fleet of like cats Cats are going to vacate out of here, so I'm going to have to actually pay attention to the other location when uh, my people have mental breaks, which is going to be a bit of a problem. My panthers can wait till the last moment. I'm going to need all the falling animals, obviously. Like, that's a thing that I'm going to need. Pretty much all of the other kind of meat animals and stuff like that, they will get, I don't know, I guess uh, culled before I go. I do want to send some of the rhinos up. That would be great. I have a lot of rhinos here. I have too many rhinos here. It's oh, salty. I love it. Um, yeah, pretty much everybody that doesn't have a name isn't bonded. All those rhinos can go up. Um, I have so fucking many. And they do great. They do attack and stuff like that, but they're not currently bonded. So if I could send them up, that's not a lot of weight carrying at the moment. I send more people. I guess I'm going to have to probably send a few people 
with this, which runs the risk of people having tantrums. Let's send, maybe not you, because you've got a good gun. Let's send, like, Norman, you lot. Okay, that's just a handful of people, maybe a couple more. Send up. Quintus, maybe. There we go, just over a thousand. Okay, so we're not sending hay. Hammerkin would be great. We've got 10 days worth of food, so I don't really need to change much here. That's fine. That's fine. Milk, no. Not taking milk. You're not taking eggs. I don't know why people want to take eggs on this trip. A little weird. But anyway, let's take about 30 medicine. The hops would feed the shit out of my animals, but I'm keeping that there to feed the ones I've got. As for what I need to take up, I obviously do need to take up steel or something. I would love to take up like slate and other stuff, but this is probably what I'm going to get to take out on this trip. Um, unless I send more people, I can't take anything else. So I am needing steel to keep building shit up there, infrastructure stuff. But I kind of actually want to take parts out of here more than anything, like stuff, you know. Um, I might do. What do I want to take out of here? Like the telescopes I need to send up. So we'll add that. I'll have to adjust stuff at the end. The skill trainers can go up. I don't want them here. Um, the This stuff, I mean, I can sell it. The thrombo horn, I can sell that. I don't really want to send all the guns, but it would be useful. It basically just means that my people will probably keep fucking trying to build shit. Um, I could take the rest of the silver with me. Like, it does mean I'm going to, like, remove some stuff. I don't want to really take all the guns. The bionic stuff, I could probably see benefit in taking that up there. Um, I might sell it on the way, see how that goes. So, I only went over by about 100 kilos on this, so that's not too bad. Some of the stuff I need to get rid of, like, the tool cabinets and stuff like that in storage. The vitals monitors, I do want to take. That's immediately 400 extra batteries I do want to take. Fire foam popper can stay. Heaters can deconstruct probably here. And so basically what I'm going to need to do is if you just let me. Sometimes it will let me just like click up to it and sometimes it fucking won't. All right, let's see. Take it down to about eight. Eight's too much. Six. Three. Three's still too much. What about 100? How is that so fucking much? All right. It's it. It's already over by that much. All right. So I can't take steel with me on this one. And if I was going to do this, I'd need probably two or three more people. Anyone else having connections issues or is it just me? It could be you. I hope like hell it's not my fucking internet provider again. I swear that fucking outage for like multiple days was just a bit rich. Um, yeah, that the other week when my internet dropped, it went down for like six hours and then that afternoon it went down for like a day and they were like letting us know that it was it could go down for up to the five days I think they said I was like you gotta be shitting me I'm like I'm taking time off and I might not have any internet over the entire time that would be hell all right send all that that's basically all my animals a lot of people I am trying to send people back and yeah i'll see what i can do i'll see if i can send out a couple more caravans down i've got to send them down anyway i've got to basically grab every hauling animal i've got here and send them the fuck out of this place um that's right i'm already at the place all right you send a caravan i do not know how many animals i have left in this base but i'm about to find out i have got a few hauling animals not many but a few um, I don't need to send a lot in like a big group. I just need to send them. So I'll send a couple and a couple of people like, I don't know, uh, Flushier and Walt Dinosaur. They can go on this group. I don't really need much in the way of food. you got like 13 days of food. You ain't sending kibble, I'll tell you that much. Vegetarian meals, that's fine. Rice is fine. Uh, medicine, I prefer you not to take that much. No bedroll. So there's still too many days worth of food to go down. I don't want surplus going down. I'd need it to just basically barely be it. And there's nine and a half, nine and a bit. That should be fine. And I don't really want to take anything with me at all. 
because like, I don't I don't really want to buy stuff sending down send that and we'll send up the next caravan uh, that's the wrong one yeah no do that cancel because of course I sent you next caravan down and we'll grab all the animals that are left that aren't already selected because I need them to go I have so many people up here I can basically just do a hauling caravan with just people which I have done a few times before but I need to get slate and steel and other shit up here okay let's go Peters not Nina let's go with not Cyprus uh a frog go with Bort and Rose mm, not Rose Rose has tax all the time let's go with Red it doesn't have a lot of jobs so he should be fine I don't want any of that to go with it um this allocation should still be fine even overlapping it shouldn't matter same with that should be fine all right that should be the rest of the animals and I do not want that much food going out yeah that's better they'll have enough food and they'll get my two caravans out well technically I've got three caravans set to go in multiple directions this is gonna be fun once they actually get out I sometimes fuck up and like overlap which one's going where and that can be really fun I can have a look at you lot you're pretty much almost done uh Franklin's caravan is going which direction what are you carrying um you don't have money and you're a biggish caravan and I don't see any like animals stacked up what are you carrying Ambrosia, you can buy my Ambrosia. Got berries, packaged survival meals. I think since I've only got a couple of horses, it's probably the one going down. And that should be mostly fine. You can take the kibble. Take the kibble, take the Ambrosia, and I think I'm okay with that. If I can take your extra horse, um, I'm going to need to sell something extra for that. I have agave. And I don't know if this is... Yeah, no, you can make that. What else have I got? I've got medicine. I don't want to sell that. It's all about 100 of that. Still too much. Let's take this up to. That's still five days worth of food. What if I go like no food? I got a package survival meals. I got three days worth of food. I got no idea how far out these guys are. I probably don't have enough money for like the horse. Although I wish I could. I could still package survival meals and probably make it. I said that you get nine days worth of food and only 300 out. So, is there anything that I clicked on that I bought apart from the horse? It doesn't look like it. I could sell you my herbal medicine. I feel like I bought that somewhere though. I'm not going to do too much difference. Yeah. No, I don't think I can afford the horse. Damn it. That would be ideal. Like, if I did that, we'd get like a little bit of money and stuff, but we wouldn't have that much days of food. And I don't know how far out they are. They could be like nine days away putting them in like a starving state just to get an extra horse mind you they would move fast Let's see time <coughs> sorry what <coughs> sorry i i haven't actually noticed that i can see that i'm hoping that this is franklin's one because franklin is having food <coughs> sorry jesus christ i never noticed that fucking hell i've noticed so much with asora where are they they're like a they're half a day out and they got no food now. I'm having some fucking water after that. I nearly fucking choked. Yeah, okay. No, I'm okay with that. Extra horse. Alright, what have I got here? Still trying to tame that fucking muffalo. I don't reckon it's going to tame. I reckon it's just after the food. Um, bit full on anxiety. Thank you for the follow. Fucking welcome in. <laughs> fucking hell, I nearly died with that... When I realized, like, I've played this for ages, but when I actually noticed that it showed which fucking colony I had, yeah, uh, which caravan I had, that kind of, like, shook me up for that fucking moment. Jesus. I, I just never noticed before. I always have caravans going out, and I assumed that I've clicked on one, but it actually said when it opened up that it was Franklin's caravan, and then it showed Franklin's caravan, and it was that far away, and I'm like, oh, well, that would be good. Um, yeah, Lasagna's caravan, I think. Which way are you going? Up. Lasagna's one's going up. It reckons it's got one and a half days to destination on a nine day journey. Could be. They're not that far away. How's my miners gone? So I'll probably get about 
two, two to three thousand steel maybe from this, I would say. Where are you at? Mix off. Mmm, Pacho, you might be okay. Might maybe move back, yeah? Yeah, maybe move back. That thing's got eight hours. You've got 18. You don't get hit by the fucking things. And this is going to go down the hill south real fast. That's seven hours. There we go. Okay, Pacho, run for it. Just go to the hospital. He might be okay. Mind you, the hospital is actually pretty clean considering it's jumped up with everything. So, yeah. That and we have so much fucking food right now. My people have been culling the animals like crazy. Uh, are you guys... Oh, they're getting them set up for it. Wait, are they... They're leaving. There's all my cats. I should say there's the rest of my cats. Zena and stuff. Zena and Zeke are in this lot too. Somewhere. Um... It'd be really interesting. I always get a bit antsy about sending them out because, like, from my perspective, anything could happen to the caravan or, like, I might forget and I might sell something. God forbid I sell my fucking legacy cats. Um, but, yeah, pretty much this area is almost down to this one section Almost. I'm building and I should be cutting down trees and stuff in this area too. I've got so many people currently um, gardening and stuff. Basically growing and harvesting. Um, if it wasn't the middle of summer, this stuff would be getting built a lot faster. But yeah, this is almost deconstructed. This will be deconstructed soon. And then this will get deconstructed. And then this storage area will move over to here once that's constructed and yeah we're basically just going to have this top corner like I said it's going to be what it is until we go I'm going to decommission all the growing areas pretty soon this area of like the paddocks is going to go to nothing soon like I'm going to move all the animals up into this mini pen and I honestly don't think I've got enough food here to feed them but um, that's a different issue, I guess. I could probably set this up to be just rice and make this whole section rice and have them, you know, grow and eat that in, like, advance. The only real problem I've got is I am taking them away from this, their food storage that the animals can get into. That's the only real problem I've got is that I'm taking them away from that. Um, I could probably make something like that up here, like right here probably should. It's like a little storage food area. Uh, Lima's joined too. Now let me make that and I'm gonna need, I need a proper door for that. Animal flaps. Uh, no, I'm gonna need a proper room for that actually. Seal that off as a room. Now we can have an animal flap here. Yeah, of course, prison break. Where did that spot there? I don't actually need to take this all across here, I don't believe, since I'll have that. And then I need an air conditioner. So I can just slap an air conditioner here and here. That should be enough of that. And then there's a break can wait a second. This should be fine to connect up through here. That's all I'm thinking. I don't need to take it through there, but whatever, I did it. All right, have a look at it. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's have a look. Prison break, I didn't check how many people are breaking out, but I assume it's most of this corner. They look like they're on the move all in the same direction, and I guess it's this lot. Lima. Lima just recruited. Okay, you are daytimer. Let's get you set up, Lima. Um, where are you? No drugs. Attack. Mate, you're going to be me attacking with us soon. So, you're just a day timer. Get you sealed out. Creation. And your schedule. And then we'll go and attack my prisoners that are trying to escape. Alright. And yes, I'm aware I'm sighing a lot tonight. I'm not like exhausted of the colony, I'm just tired myself. If you're wondering. I'm aware that I have sighed probably too many times. It's one of those things where you could like. I don't know. 
drink responsibly and all that, but like you could probably make a drinking game out of it and be like pretty well done by in like the space of four hours. <laughs> um, all right. I don't know if you're trying to break out. You're in restraints. Are you? Does it tell me? Um, it doesn't tell me. So this will be interesting. I should also actually set this up as great. Right. Right. As I don't think I've got hay grass here. I think I've got some. All right, where are people trying to, you guys are, I don't know if you guys are. Tell you what, you lot in the kitchen area. So it's up to, don't fire, just hang out here just in case. You lot on the outside. Okay, get yes, to don't fire and stand outside. You lot up here, I think you're going on a caravan, but if you can just avoid that for a minute and come stand here. In, I don't know if anybody on this side is trying to break out. I don't think anybody down the bottom is. I think down the bottom's fine. I think it's mostly just up top. Donkey's not doing anything. I think Turk's coming out now. Mate, if you could just melee attack Turk. If you could melee attack Ray, since I know you two are coming out. Um, you gonna attack that one. I don't know. Reducing resistance. No, they're not leaving. I don't know if they're leaving, and I don't think you are. I think it's just that little cluster up there. None of them are leaving. All right, we'll see how this goes. I don't think anybody in here is trying to leave. So I'll set you guys back to what you're doing. And I think it's really just Turk and Gray. Now, I'll check in a minute if anybody else got outside. I'll have a look. Um, all right, you guys got that one down. You can capture Grey. He's mostly fine. And if you could... Oh, I won't release you yet. You'll shoot. Alright. <laughs> what are you doing, Benico? Still spear, Benico! Come on. Come on. You had one job and it was don't kill the prisoners. Good God. Fucking hell. Alright. Well, let's try that again. Give me a stretch on. Well, I've got a chance. Oh, man. I gotta admit, they're not doing too badly. I am getting my crops done, which I wanted to. I am killing my animals. I have not called my traders to sell the beds yet. And I do need to do that. What the? Eternal Ditsy, thank you for the follow. Also, welcome in. I also didn't say welcome in to full on anxiety, but welcome in, both of you. Um, fucking hell. I, um,. My colony, I swear. You are not set up to attack. I thought I had you set up to attack, but I know who's doing it now. So I need Dan and Naomi for sure. If I could get you to attack, maybe that one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Welcome in. Um, how's your day or night going? What are you up to? Don't shoot. Go, go attack Turk. I'm pretty sure it's only Grey and Turk that's trying to leave. From what I can tell. I think everybody else is good. I think everybody else is fine. I think I can leave them alone. I'm just gonna make sure that Benico does not fucking run up here and just absolutely shank Turk again. That would be ideal. You know? Yeah, alright. So Turk's getting Dan and Naomi's trying to catch up. And I'll check in a moment. I'll see if any other prisoners get outside. Come on, mate. It's not that bad. You catch up. Uh... I'm not sure. It's 10 a.m. in the morning here. All right, what about you? Yeah, it's about almost one for me, and I'm all right. Um, I kind of spent a little bit too long up today, so I'm a bit tired. Although I know that doesn't come across like in the stream at all that I'm tired, but I'm a little bit tired. But um, yeah, I don't know. I've actually been pretty pretty happy with how the games are going tonight because. My people have actually been being really productive and I don't want to jinx myself, but I haven't really got attacked yet. I got attacked last week a couple of times, so I'm hoping that I can just go one week without it, you know, ideally. Ray, are you? <clears> Here <throat> yeah, you are, the one that I knocked down. Cool. All right, well, we'll bring Turk in and it should be fine. Yeah, I'm actually getting so much fucking done for once. I usually get like attacked or my people try to like kill each other or whatever but last week I went and did a 16 person attack quest like at an encampment and I decided to take everybody 
And then immediately after that, um, that caravan got attacked. So I took a 17th person and now I'm just trying to get them all to join the actual colony. And it's not going too badly. It's just that um, obviously when you have 17 prisoners, you have constant prison outbreaks and stuff. Also, there was a bed in there that was perfectly fine, Ram. Come on. I wish I could have this huge colony. It's like you do, but sadly my PC can't even handle more than 30 colonists. Um, I've found that a lot of people that are using a fair few mods, give me better medicine for him. Um, if you've got more than 100 mods, if you've got up to like 300 mods, um, the game does struggle. Um, although if like once you've got to about 50, there's really not much difference in people, honestly. Like, well, for me, once I kind of hit 50, 100 wasn't really different, 150 wasn't really different. But then again, I'm also kind of accustomed to having these massive colonies because I'm only playing core game, like a couple of basic mods, like prepare carefully and the other one I've got, I drop everything and stuff like that. A couple of them are compatibility and whatnot to like work, you know, make the mods work together kind of thing, but that's about it. But, um, yeah, it seems to run okay. Um, it's like I can barely run more than 50 mods on my PC. Is it really the best? Ah, uh, no, that's all good. Like, you know, every mod doesn't need to have a fuck ton of mods and stuff, even if you want to and stuff. Like, it does suck if your PC is not up to it. Um, hopefully in the future you get to have a, a better running, you know, more powerful fucking what is it caravans out of food that'd be right yeah hopefully you get to have a more powerful computer hopefully in like i don't know somewhere in the nearer future of the future i don't know english i'll tell you what it's a language uh my brain's not with it um but yeah you know you get to like play with all the mods eventually hopefully where the fuck is there it is ah oh, it's in so much i was trying to find where my mining quest was and they blend in because little tiny, little tiny mining symbol. I don't really want to take the squirrels. I do want the steel and I want the marble, but I'm taking the slate because we need that for decorations. Take that with you. Uh, it's pretty close to getting better soonish. Almost got enough fundings. Oh, nice. Oh, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, are you gonna try playing through at the like when you get the upgraded computer and stuff? Are you gonna? try playing it with um as it is with uh what do you call it like adding more and more uh colonists and mods over time or a do you have like a list of mods that you're like keen to like just throw throw down oh wow that is actually looking good well the blue on it's looking good Definitely, yeah oh nice yeah i don't have i pretty much have like only the six mods i don't really play with much but at the same time like um I don't know, while I've got this colony, well, this playthrough going, all of them are locked down at the moment anyway, so it's I can't add anything else in there until this one either succeeds or fails in getting off-world. I'm slowly, like, leapfrogging across the map to try to um, take on the, you know, the landed ship quest with basically 250 people and just absolutely tank it and see if I can get my, like, as many of my legacy characters off the planet as I possibly can. And if not, if they fail or if they implode like my last colony did, then I'll try again and see how that goes. Let's just throw more and more until I'm satisfied. It sounds like, it sounds like, um, you know, the, the standard room world, uh, what do you, you know, player kind of go. But like to keep mods, add most of vanilla-ish balance to avoid overpowered mods. Yeah. I find it interesting to see what everybody kind of plays with because like some people love adding like uh, wildly fantasy elements to their game. Um, other people like to have like a theme involved with it like you know uh, additional crops or a specific uh, space type thing or something like that and like, I really like the game at its core like, obviously because I've got core game and um, so like I tend to I don't know, I don't have even like additional vanilla mods, but I would probably lean towards them as like the closest ones that I would be interested in because they don't change too much. Like they keep it kind of feeling like the rim world that I know, if that makes sense. Oh, whoops, it's going out. Hold on. 
Hold on. Let's get that saved because whoops had a tantrum before and cost us our entire caravan going out by day. Where is the rest of them? Where are you at? Falcon, you might be going the wrong way. Are you trying to find... The hell are you going, Falcon? Are they... Are they just collecting animals and... Where are you going? Uh, yeah, you're collecting a yak. What are you trying to collect over here? Ah, uh, the muffalo. Alright, yeah, that makes a little more sense. Okay, because I was going to say, I'm like, they're going all the way over here and then they're going to go all the way back over. As long as they know what they're doing and if we have a chance to leave, this will be exciting if they get the fuck out of here because, like, those animals have had too many fucking babies in that park. They're mostly just the quality of life mods, like big mods. Uh, sorry. And, like, big mods like... Uh... BFE, I don't know what BFE and BE stand for. I haven't seen that abbreviation yet. Um, feel free to elaborate because I I don't dabble into mods too heavily, so 